Hello my friends, welcome to Hey Yoga. In this session, we will be practicing yoga for our lung. This is an all-level Hatha Yoga sequence incorporating postures to stretch and strengthen the muscles of the chest and improve the health and functioning of the lung. Something I want to bring your attention to as we go into this practice is that the lung is associated with sadness and grief. Pay attention to physical sensations and be open to emotions that are present or may arise without making too much meaning out of it or trying to understand it all yet. Stay with what's present through physical sensations and emotions to be felt and heard instead of getting caught into the story of the emotion. All right, shall we? Let's start in the front of the mat. Have your feet hip wide distance and have your hands round your hips. Now widen your chest, widen your collarbones. Press your hands against your hips to feel kind of like feeling up your chest. And from here, slowly bend, fold forward, keeping that activation in your back, keeping the straight spine. And from here, let's reach to the floor with your fingertips. If you need to bend your knees, please do bend your knees. Maintain that openness and activation, or openness in the chest and activation in your back. Just take one breath here. Press the hands against the floor. And then go ahead and grab your toes with your index finger and the middle finger. Hold and pull, gently look forward, keeping your knees bent. And exhale, straighten your knees as much as you can and drop your head. Let's repeat this two more times. Inhale, bend your knees. Lift up the chest forward and look forward, pull the leg. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale forward. The pulling action is quite important here so that we really engage our chest and exhale, release. Okay, place your hands on the ground. Come down on your knees to table pose. Maintaining that focus in your chest, activating. Inhale, press the hands against the floor. Open your chest forward. And exhale, close your chest, coming into cat. Constantly press your hands against the floor. Inhale, open. And exhale. One more time. Inhale, keep pushing. Keep pushing. And exhale. Close your chest. Okay. Inhale, coming back to neutral pose. Have your, um, straighten your right leg and turn your left toe about 45 degree outside to your left side. And then pivot to your right so that you're coming into this side position, the gate pose. So your, on your left knee, your left foot is behind you to have better balance. Left hand underneath your shoulder, right leg stretched away from you. From here with your right arm, you're gonna bring your right arm down close to the floor and bring it up all the way and back. Exhale, closing. Inhale, open and back so that you really feel your chest all the way to the shoulder opening and stretching. Keep your fingertips activated. So do not relax your arms. Keep your arms straight and strong all the way to your fingertips. Exhale two more time. Inhale. And exhale. Let your gaze follow your arms. Inhale. And exhale. Place your hands on the ground. Come to tabletop. Wiggle your spine and then let's continue to the other side. So straighten your left leg, turn your right foot to your right side. Lean to your right hand, coming down on your right side now. 
and left hand reaching to the floor and reaching up all the way and back exhale close four more time inhale and exhale inhale and exhale two more times inhale again keep that left arm really activated by just simply keep your elbow as straight as you can and sharpen your fingertips and exhale beautiful coming back to tabletop and let's come down all the way on the floor lying down on your belly placing your elbows under your shoulders palms facing down we are coming into sphinx pose let's have the feet together heels together toes together and from here gently press the hands and your elbows against the floor and pull it towards you as you gently bring your chest forward and up tuck the tailbone in gently and as you tuck the tailbone in pull the lower part of the abdomen a little bit as well to really anchor that center of the body to the floor and as you exhale i'm going to ask you to bring your chest um, chin to your chest bring your ribs in and lift up your hips tuck the tailbone in push your elbows against the floor shoulder blades away from each other if you want to challenge yourself then you can lift up your knees as well and slowly coming back down sphinx open and lift up again tuck the tailbone in slightly let's repeat this two more time exhale it's really important that you push the elbows against the floor bringing your shoulder blades away from each other to really engage your chest as well as the back of your heart and inhale hips down pull forward sphinx one more time exhale keep pushing keep pushing tucking the tailbone in and inhale forward and up ah oh, yes <sighs> staying on your belly let's have um keeping your left elbow underneath your shoulder find your left hand about 45 degree across have your legs about hip wide distance and then bend your right knee and reach your right foot with your right hand now hold the inside of your foot and try to bring that heel as close as possible as you do that turn the chest to as much front as possible if um if it if it feels comfortable for you you could turn your fingers your right fingers pointing towards the same direction as your right toe whatever position you are doing with your hands and the foot turn the chest as much forward as possible so have the fingertips either pointing out or pointing towards your shoulder ground your knees if you feel pressure in your lower back pull the lower part of the abdomen in and tuck the tailbone in gently and press your left elbow against the floor release the foot and change so again this is a beautiful thigh stretch but by really turning the chest forward it gives you um an amazing opening in your left side of the chest and to the shoulder quite a deep stretch actually so just be aware of where is your limit and um to where you feel comfortable to go okay and release hands underneath your shoulder gently push up and come into child pose to gently elongate your lower back just one breath here before we continue 
with camel pose. Let's come up on your knee. Keep your toes underneath your heels. Have your feet about hip wide distance as well as your feet. Now, have your, let's start with your right hand, right hand. Reaching your right heel with your right hand, not the whole palm, but just the fingertips would be enough. And with your left arm, swing in front of you across to your right side and then over to your head. Back to the front, change the hand, left hand, fingertips pointing back to your heel, right arm cross in front of you to your left and over to the head. Tuck the tailbone in and coming back to the center. Let's repeat this um, several more times. Now, you don't need to go to a deep back bend. If you keep your head up, then the back bend will be so much milder. So know how much back bend you want to bring it in this. But what I want you to focus is really your bottom hand pushing against the heel and your top arm swinging it over, finding that beautiful range of motion with your chest and with your shoulder. One more time each side. Make sure you push your hips forward. Okay. And place your hands on the ground. Let's come to downward facing dog. As you lift up your hips, gently lengthen your lower back. Mm. With next inhalation, let's bring the right foot forward between your hands. Make sure your feet are hip wide distance. Come up all the way and find your hands in the prayer position. Let's go directly into twist. Right elbow to the outside of your right knee. Press that elbow against your knee. Maybe you see why, the reason why we are doing this twist in particular. Twist in general is amazing for lung. But what's particular about this one is your pectoral, your chest is really engaged because there is this push from the elbow against the leg. So quite an amazing combination for this particular reason. Press the hands against each other, widen your collarbone, press that elbow against the leg. That's the action that really engaged the chest. And then when you exhale, exhale from your abdomen, twisting from the middle and the upper part of the chest. And let's slowly release with next inhalation. Plant your hands on the ground, come to downward facing dog, elongate your lower back and the back of the leg. And then let's change the leg, left foot forward. Once again, your feet are not at the same line, especially when it comes to twist, like this posture. It's gonna become quite tricky if your feet are in the one line. Turn to your left side. You may want to look down initially as that's to till you find a really good establishment as that's gonna make it easier for you to balance. Again, remember to really push the elbow against the leg, hands against each other. Widen your collarbone. And deep exhalation through your abdomen, twisting from your middle and upper back. And slowly coming back to the center, hands on the floor, downward facing dog. Inhale here. And exhale here. Come down on your knees and walk your hands forward while keeping your hips right on top of your knees. Drop your chest. And let's stay, lift up your heels of your palm and stay up on your fingertips so that 
we are stretching our chest muscle in an active way. A couple more breaths here. Tailbone up, chest down, soft, hollow abdomen. Try not to lean too much to the head. Otherwise, the weight will go more towards your neck than towards your chest. And slowly release. Come into child pose. Drop your head. Just one breath before we continue with shoulder stand to finish the sequence. Let's go ahead and roll back to um, shoulder stand. Starting from coming into lying down position. <sighs> Arms on the side. Swing your legs up. Lift up your hips. Bring your knees to your chest. Hands against the back. Elbows close to each other. And when you're ready, extend your legs upward. Don't worry about being really straight. Make sure you can breathe well. That's the first most important thing. And make sure that you don't give too much pressure to the middle of the neck. Resist through the back of the head so that you keep the arch of the neck as much as possible. And from here, let's slowly lower the legs over the head. If you have sensitive lower back, then keep your knees bent as we're using the weight of the leg to stretch the back. It's a quite intense one. So bend your knees if you normally have sensitive lower back. As you go down slowly, pay attention to your breathing. Remember that this posture, we're doing this today for our lung. Keep breathing deeply. Expanding our chest and our abdomen as much as you can. Just a few more breaths. And when you're ready, hands on the floor, slowly roll out of the position. Finding your ways to the floor, legs apart, arms apart, palms facing the ceiling. Turn your head to one side slowly and to the other side. And back to the center. Rest here for a couple of breaths in silence. Soften your throat. Soften your chest and your shoulders. Soften your belly and your hips. Thank you everyone for joining me on this video. A question I want to leave you with is, what are you grieving for? Comment below. If you like this video, give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for weekly yoga practice. I wish you a good stay and see you next week. Keep shine on.